Hello everyone, welcome back to this exercise series for chapter 6 of our BUS325 investment course. In this video, we're going to be looking at the last question or last problem we are uh, doing for this uh, chapter. And this one is pretty in uh, interesting question. It should be uh, a lot more relaxed and easier than the previous uh, exercises that were a bit too complex so let's read the exercise together and we'll, we'll we will wrap this exercise series with this exercise okay what does it say it says investors expect the market rate of return this year to be 10 percent so the return on the market is expected to be 10 percent the expected rate of return on a stock with a beta of 1.2 is currently 12 percent if the market return this year turns out to be 8% or generates a return of only 8% instead of the 10% that was forecasted, how would you revise your expectation of the rate of return on the stock? Okay, this question is interesting. It measures your understanding, uh, as we have explained in the lecture, of beta. What does beta mean? Beta is a correlation coefficient of a specific stock to the market okay it can express or we use it to express the historical relationship uh, or you could say the correlation coefficient uh, just like we've done with the correlation coefficient between two stocks this one similarly does the same thing except with that uh, it measures or indicates the relationship between that particular stock and the market as a whole okay so using that information uh, we now know that this particular stock moves a little bit more aggressively than the market, okay? And since the market was expected to generate 10%, but ended up only generating 8%, what would happen to this, the 12% that is expected uh, for uh, a return uh, of that stock, okay? So let's tackle that. We could say the expected rate of return on the stock will change by beta times the unanticipated change in the market return. Okay. So how would that be? That would be beta, okay, multiplied by the change. Okay, if I want to simplify it for you as a, like a f simple formula, it would be something like this. All right, so <clears throat> what's beta here? It is 1.2. And what is the change? The change is 0 0.08 minus 0 0.10, okay? The expectation was for the market to generate 10%, but it ended up generating only eight. So that's a drop of uh, 2%, all right? So how is that going to reflect on our stock, which was expected to generate 12%. Let's run the numbers and see. One point two multiplied by point zero eight minus point one. Multiplied by 
by 1.2 okay and that would be minus 2.4 percent okay that's the change that we are going to or that's the expected change that would occur to our stock all right so therefore we could say the expected rate of return on the stock should be revised sorry revised to 12% minus 2.4% which equals 12 minus 2.4 that's 9.60% all right pretty simple pretty straightforward if you as I said if you understand what beta stands for if you don't understand what beta means this question would probably not make any much sense to you but if you understand what beta means it should be straightforward what is the change that occurred in the market expectations okay and we take that change and we multiply it by the given beta for that particular stock it will give us the difference okay or the impact on the stock and then you take that impact and you apply it to the actual expected return on that stock and you will get your new revised expectation or new revised expected return on the stock all right this is how you solve a question similar to problem number 20. i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this whole series um let me know if there's anything i can do differently to improve the series for you i hope you find it useful it takes a lot of time to uh, to do but i hope that it helps you in your studies i wish you the best of luck if you have anything uh, they want to add or any questions please drop them down in the comments and until i see you in the next chapters exercise series take care